everybody welcome back to the here to see channel got another here drill for you matthew chapter 25 matthew the gospel of jesus christ and the here to see channel always focusing on sharing pearls of wisdom nuggets of knowledge understanding the difficult and instructions for a better life we're reading through the whole gospel of matthew a chapter at a time and doing a here journal on each chapter here journaling is a method that many find edifying to their personal relationship with the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn more about here journaling. But now, let's read and listen to Matthew chapter 25 in the New Living Translation from the YouVersion Bible app. Then I'll share my here journal with you. Chapter 25 Parable of the Ten Bridesmaids Then the kingdom of heaven will be like ten bridesmaids, who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, and five were wise. The five who were foolish didn't take enough olive oil for their lamps, but the other five were wise enough to take along extra oil. When the bridegroom was delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight they were roused by the shout, Look, the bridegroom is coming! Come out and meet him! All the bridesmaids got up and prepared their lamps. Then the five foolish ones asked the others, Please give us some of your oil, because our lamps are going out. But the others replied, We don't have enough for all of us. Go to a shop and buy some for yourselves. But while they were gone to buy oil, the bridegroom came. Then those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast, and the door was locked. Later, when the other five bridesmaids returned, they stood outside calling, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he called back, Believe me, I don't know you. So you too must keep watch, for you do not know the day or hour of my return. Parable of the Three Servants Again, the kingdom of heaven can be illustrated by the story of a man going on a long trip. He called together his servants and entrusted his money to them while he was gone. He gave five bags of silver to one, two bags of silver to another, and one bag of silver to the last, dividing it in proportion to their abilities. He then left on his trip. The servant who received the five bags of silver began to invest the money and earned five more. The servant with two bags of silver also went to work and earned two more. But the servant who received the one bag of silver dug a hole in the ground and hid the master's money. After a long time, their master returned from his trip and called them to give an account of how they had used his money. The servant to whom he had entrusted the five bags of silver came forward with five more and said, Master, you gave me five bags of silver to invest, and I have earned five more. The master was full of praise. Well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in handling this small amount, so now I will give you many more responsibilities. Let's celebrate together. The servant who had received the two bags of silver came forward and said, Master, you gave me two bags of silver to invest, and I have earned two more. The master said, Well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in handling this small amount, so now I will give you many more responsibilities. Let's celebrate together. Then the servant with the one bag of silver came and said, Master, I knew you were a harsh man, harvesting crops you didn't plant and gathering crops you didn't cultivate. I was afraid I would lose your money, so I hid it in the earth. Look, here is your money back. But the master replied, You wicked and lazy servant! If you knew I harvested crops I didn't plant and gathered crops I didn't cultivate, why didn't you deposit my money in the bank? At least I could have gotten some interest on it. Then he ordered, Take the money from this servant and give it to the one with the ten bags of silver. To those who use well what they are given, even more will be given, and they will have an abundance. But from those who do nothing, even what little they have will be taken away. Now throw this useless servant into outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The Final Judgment but when the Son of Man comes in His glory, and all the angels with Him, then He will sit upon His glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered in His presence, and He will separate the people as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep at His right hand, and the goats at His left. 
Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you fed me. I was thirsty, and you gave me a drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me into your home. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you cared for me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Then these righteous ones will reply, Lord, when did we ever see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink, or a stranger and show you hospitality, or naked and give you clothing? When did we ever see you sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will say, I tell you the truth, when you did it to one of the least of these my brothers and sisters, you were doing it to me. Then the king will turn to those on the left and say, Away with you, you cursed ones, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his demons. For I was hungry, and you didn't feed me. I was thirsty, and you didn't give me a drink. I was a stranger, and you didn't invite me into your home. I was naked, and you didn't give me clothing. I was sick and in prison, and you didn't visit me. Then they will reply, Lord, when did we ever see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and not help you? And he will answer, I tell you the truth, when you refused to help the least of these my brothers and sisters, you were refusing to help me. And they will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous will go into eternal life. And that was Matthew chapter 25 in the New Living Translation from the New Version Bible app. Now for my hair journal. First the highlight. Matthew chapter 25 verses 1 through 13. The parable of the ten bridesmaids. Verse 1. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten bridesmaids who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The five that were foolish didn't take enough olive oil for their lamps. But the other five were wise enough to carry along extra oil. When the bridegroom was delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, they were roused by a shout. Look, the bridegroom is coming. Come out and meet him. All the bridesmaids got up and prepared their lamps. Then the five foolish ones asked the others, Please give us some of your oil, because our lamps are going out. But the others replied, We don't have enough for all of us. Go to a shop and buy some for yourselves. But while they were gone to buy oil, the bridegroom came. Then those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast, and they closed the door and it was locked. Later, when the other five bridesmaids returned, they stood outside calling, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he called back, Believe me, I don't know you. So you too must keep watch, for you do not know the day or hour of my return. So, what's my explanation? This parable of the ten bridesmaids tells of the five wide, wise bridesmaids and five foolish ones. The foolish ones did not prepare for the groom's coming, so they were left out of the marriage feast. The message is clear. Do not be caught unprepared when Jesus returns. So, what's the application for us today? We can apply this truth to our lives. The lamp oil represents our relationship with God through the Holy Spirit. We must strive to seek Him, abide in Him, and with Him consistently and continuously. We must guard from any temptation or distraction that will draw our attention away from the Lord. We will not only be ready for His coming, but we will be living our best possible life, a life of love, joy, and peace only available through a relationship with Him. Reference, 
1 John chapter 2, verses 24 and 25. Let what you heard from the beginning abide in you. If what you heard from the beginning abides in you, then you too will abide in the Son and in the Father, and this is the promise that he made to us eternal life. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 14 But solid food is for the mature, for those who have their powers of discernment trained by constant practice to distinguish good from evil. 2 Timothy 4 7 I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 10 Therefore, brothers, be all the more diligent to confirm your calling and election, for if you practice these qualities, you will never fall. Matthew chapter 28 verse 20 teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you, and behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. James chapter 5, verse 16. Therefore confess your sins one to another, and pray for one another that you may be healed. The prayer of the righteous person has great power at its workings. So, what's my response? Lord, thank you for my salvation. Help me, Lord, to remain steadfast in our relationship, to be an effective servant for you, ever ready for anything you may have for me. I pray for those that are not ready to meet you, Lord. May they seek you and find you as Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. And now, how about you? Why don't you try to hear a journal, highlight, explain, apply, respond? You'll be glad you did. Comment below. Share your experiences with us. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, read the Gospel of John chapter 3 and talk to God about it. Most important thing, talk to God about everything, anything, anytime. Seek Him now. God bless.